Chris Brown is in hot water again, facing a couple of fresh lawsuits from a wild night in Fort Worth, Texas. Over the weekend, four concert goers sued him, claiming Brown and his crew assaulted them backstage. The plaintiffs, Larry Parker, Joseph Lewis, Charles Bush, and Demarcus Powell, allege they were invited to Brown's VIP area after his show at Dickey's Arena. According to the lawsuit filed in Harris County District Court, things got ugly fast. When Bush tried to shake Brown's hand, a member of Brown's entourage reminded him of some past beef, leading Brown to order his crew to attack. Bush and the others tried to make a quick exit, but Brown and his posse, allegedly seven to 10 strong, followed. The suit details brutal beatings. One of Brown's guys punched Bush in the chest and another named Hood Boss allegedly threw a chair at his head. Parker got it worse, reportedly being trapped in a stairwell and beaten for over 10 minutes. Powell and Lewis also claimed they were punched and kicked. All four are now seeking $50 million in damages and a restraining order against Brown and his crew. If that wasn't enough, another lawsuit popped up just days later from Frederick Overpeck, a security guard at the event. He claims he was injured trying to stop the brawl. Overpeck, who led backstage security, alleges he saw Brown throw the first punch. Overpeck is now looking for $15 million in damages. But this isn't the first time Chris Brown's been in trouble. Remember back in 2009 when he assaulted Rihanna? That incident left her in the hospital, and Brown pled guilty. Since then, Brown's rap sheet has grown, with over 20 accusations ranging from physical and sexual assaults to other forms of misconduct. Despite all the drama, Brown still packs arenas and racks up streaming numbers, which makes one wonder how he keeps his career afloat amid all the controversy. The plaintiff's lawyer, Tony Busby, who has a history of taking on big cases, like representing victims of the Astroworld crowd rush, says they'll fight hard in court. Live Nation, the concert promoter, is also in the crosshairs for allegedly not ensuring safety at the event. They haven't commented on the suits yet, but they're named alongside Brown and his entourage in both complaints. According to the lawsuits, the company failed to protect concert goers, knowing Brown's violent history. It's all a mess, but it's a familiar one for Chris Brown. The lawsuits are piling up and the details are pretty grim. With so many allegations of violence over the years, this latest incident paints a bleak picture of Brown's backstage antics. Whether these lawsuits will stick or settle out of court, only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, Brown's legal troubles are far from over. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the channel icon. For more entertainment content, check out some of our other videos.